Hello everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Let's Play Super Mario World. In the first episode, or in the last episode, the first episode we, never mind, that was a while ago, but we went through the first couple levels of the Valley of Bowser, and now we're going to finish up Valley of Bowser 3, right from the checkpoint where we left off. Um, kind of an awkward opening, I guess, but hopefully you can find your way to the first video. Um, I don't know why I did it like this, probably unprofessional, but I don't care. But I was also trying to carry the springboard with me through the first um, recording. And I'm going to still try that because it's totally worth it, I guess. I don't, I don't know, because I'm, I'm also kind of curious as to what I get. Because, I mean, a lot of items, if you bring them to the end of the level, you get one-ups for it. So I wonder if I get a one-up for the springboard? But I, I don't know. Plus, who knows when a springboard might come in handy. I mean, really, who knows? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know of anyone who would know. <gasps> Springboard, damn you! Distracting me. Curses. Aloysius. But yeah, I'm having some issues with this game. And it doesn't help that I have work in the morning and that I have gotten very little sleep for the last couple days. So. <sighs> that jump was not even worth it. Well, it was, because nothing actually happened. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Details are details, and details aren't main objectives. Nah. Yeah, they're not main objectives. That makes sense, actually. Wait. Okay. I got a little panicked for a minute there. I was like, wait, am I supposed to jump on? <laughs> Fuck you, Bonsai Bill. Bonsai! Oh, you bitch. It's all right. So look at the springboard. <laughs> Okay, let's see what happens when I carry this through the check line. Oh, cool, I get a one-up. That's cool. I, I, I mean, now we know. You know, next time you watch a Let's Play, you'll be like, you, you can tell someone that you know that. Because you saw it in Red Panda Gamer's Let's Play. And then tell whoever you're watching to subscribe to me. Another secret level, Valley of Bowser 4. Kind of seems weird to have secret levels this late in the game, but... Okay, and we also have a new, a lot of new enemies this late, and we have this Chuckster who's freaking shoveling rocks at us. Kind of mean, wouldn't you say? But what are you gonna do? Chuckster's a dick. Fall in the lava. Fall in the. Oh yeah. I'm not really sure what Chuckster's deal is anyway. I mean, is he uh, is he a turtle? I, I I didn't even notice. Oh crap! Am I about to do the secret on accident? Like I always do. <laughs> uh -huh. Water's cold, that's why I reacted that way. Whenever I'm in an ice level like this, I think of the music. Ooh, is that a pink tube? Interesting. Oh, jeez. I thought that tube looked important. Boob tube? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! That was a really, really lucky jump. I, I I can't believe how lucky I get in this game sometimes. Ooh, yay! Speaking of getting lucky, I got Yoshi. Um, can we go down this way? Do I not want to go down that way? <laughs> Oops! I didn't mean to murder Yoshi. That was a really depressing one too, because he just like burned alive. I wonder who's keeping. I don't remember who's keeping track of that either. I know someone was keeping track of it. And I'm curious as to how many times Yoshi's died. I mean, I already know I probably died well over a hundred times. Between on camera and off camera. Because on camera... Oh, no. No, I want my leaf! Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Because I need the leaf. Fuck! Oh, Ugh, I could've had it. That was... I pussied out. Like a boss. There we go. Oh my god. Wait, how am I supposed to do this? Like that? Clearly. Why did I even need to ask? Oh, that's... What the hell? How do you get in there? That's what she said. He said, I don't know. But no, seriously, I don't even know how you get to that. But that was an interesting level, I guess. Not interesting in the nicest way, but whatever. So now we're in Castle 7, Larry's Castle. Larry is a pretty lame name for a boss, but whatever. Who am I to judge? I'll tell you who I am to judge. Oh, okay, I'm the guy getting hit by the freaking big ball and chain. Apparently. Okie dokie then. Okie dokie. Doom doom. 
Du. I'm speaking Sims. Sims language. Sims knees. Is that what it's called? Siamese. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I don't play The Sims. Nor have I ever. I've, the closest thing to a life sim game I've played. I don't even know why I jumped up there. Oh good, show me falling into the lava. That's really, it's really embarrassing for me. The closest thing I've ever played to a life sim game. Well, obviously Animal Crossing. It's technically a life sim game. But like, as far as Sims games go, like EA. Well, actually, I don't think EA made Sim City. I don't know. I, I don't know who made Sim City as far as development wise. But I played Sim City as a kid, and my favorite game simulation wise of all time was and is probably well I also like Viva Pinata a lot and I don't know why. It's such a weird girly game, but I think it's freaking awesome. Mainly because I guess it's got a lot to do with the design of the game that I really like. Because I'm such an artistic person, you know. <laughs> but I also really like um I don't know, it's just addictive and it's kinda like got that Pokemon vibe going where it's like, gotta get them all. It's like, I know, I'm trying. And, but then Ty Roller Coaster Tycoon was my number one favorite, probably. And I love And I remember when Lauren and I first started dating, we were like, we would play that game together. And I don't mean like when we first started dating, like. Oh man, that was all skill right there. I don't like this. I don't like these moving platform ones because they just take so long. I also think they're kind of cheap. You know what I mean? Like, cheap is in like, not expensive level design. Not that this level design actually costs money. But it's just like, we'll just put a platform, move it around in a giant room, and yeah, we'll see. What the heck? Oh god. This level just got real. Get away. Aha! That's what I wanted you to do. No, wait, shit. I'm sorry! Come on, turn another fucking thank you. It's awkward. It's weird. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh god. Never mind. Forget my cocky, confident, freaking comment I was gonna make. Okay. Wait. Okay, I was gonna say, do we need to let her live to get through this level? That'd be kind of weird. Whoa. That was a close one. Oh come on. Game. <laughs> Sorry for spitting everywhere. I did. You can't all see it. Oh, green blocks. You are my best friend. Let's do this, Larry. Oh, you're Larry. I never realized he was Larry. It started with you. Well, not really. It technically started with Bowser, I guess, but it's going to end with you. Oh, yeah, now I have to do the whole level over again, don't I, too? I thought I had him for real, too. Okay, let's do it. Well, we're doing this stupid crap again, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Not one bit. But hopefully, you know, I got through it pretty easy the last time around, so hopefully I have similar luck. But you know what? I kind of doubt it, because I have pretty bad luck in general with these types of games. Especially when it comes to being consistent at them, because one minute I can be like a pro, and you're like, oh my god, how'd you do that? And then the next minute it's just like, okay, what? how are you this bad at this game? And for the most part, it's been the ladder. Not like ladder, like L A D D E R. No, however you spell it. No, that's right. No. Yeah, no, that's what I don't mean. I mean L A T E R, or L A T T E. Never mind. The latter. I, I don't know if you've heard that used ever, but it's a common expression for the previously stated whatever I'm talking about. If you have any idea what I'm talking about anymore. I feel like I sneak sometimes. Because I'm making no sense at all. At least I'm not talking fast. Well, not yet. We'll see. There's still time for that. I've still got quite a few... Mother effort. Mother lip. Hopefully I don't run out of lives before I beat this level. Can I fly through this level? Probably, no way, no way, no way. Can I spin jump the spiky balls? That's another thing I'm wondering. I don't know if I want to risk it. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should be able to. 
but I don't know. I don't think so because it doesn't look like they've made it into a way where spin jumping them would help you at all. Not at, not not at all, but not very much. Not like it would help with stuff like buzz saws. Like the <sighs> ow, I have like sore in the back of my mouth, and when I blew like that, it hurt. Just so you know what that was. It always makes me mad when I do this, these games because, like, I hate when I get to the end of the, like when I get to the boss, the battle, the battle fight, the boss fight, and I just lose. There's like all this build, up, especially like, the first time you lose. Like, ugh, there's just so much build up, and it's just like, oh my god, oh my god, I made it, I made it, and then it's just you're dead. And there's no build up quite like that from Battle. It just becomes kind of tedious. I mean, it'd be really difficult to create a game that never made you feel like what you were doing was tedious, but. I'd be impressed if anyone can do it. <laughs> That's a challenge, game developers. From me to you. And as soon as you develop that game, you gotta give it to me for free. That's another part of it. That's, <sighs> That's the second half of the challenge. Okay, Magic Koopa, Kamek, whoever you're technically supposed to be in this game. I don't right now. Oh, there you are. Kill him! Not me. I didn't mean me. <laughs> I hate this level so much. And it wouldn't be so bad if I didn't get hit that first time. I mean, if I just never got hit at all, well, if I never got hit at all, I wouldn't be doing this. If I just would have beat the freaking boss battle the first try, I wouldn't even be here anymore. I'd already be recording whatever else I was going to record tonight. And I realize now that doing the freaking first half and second half of these levels is kind of silly, and that's why I'm not cutting very much out of um, this castle visit is because those levels ended up taking me like no time at all and before you know it I'm freaking here and it's like well gotta make this episode worth it somehow I mean I'm sure all the love all of them are worth it to you but uh, I don't know about that you know I'll be back when I get to freaking Larry Oh. Okay, guys, we're back, and I don't know if I sped that up or not, but we have 74 seconds left to take out Larry, and uh, no extra power-ups, just the cape, and I, damn it, I got hit by the Dragon Ball. Nope, 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 I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose! <laughs> okay, guys, we're back, and we're running, and I have an extra power-up this time, and Kamek's trying to get me, but we have some seconds left, and we're going to kill Larry, because I'm sick of this freaking level. Dang! No, stay over here. Stay on the side. So I can kill you. Yes! <laughs> Thank God. Oh, that was getting exhausting. Oh my God. That was freaking frustrating as frack. It really was. All right. So I think we rescued the final Yoshi. Technically. How do we destroy this one? Oh. Oh. Well then. That was. Probably the easiest way we've done it. Mario has defeated Larry Koopa in castle number seven. All that is left is Bowser's castle, where Princess Toadstool is being held. Can Mario rescue her and restore peace to the dinosaur land? Dinosaur land, not the dinosaur land. You get the point. It's, there's dinosaurs there. Okay, so all that's left now is the front door. Well, that seems pretty easy. But anyways, guys, I'm Red Panda Gamer. In the next episode, we will go through the secrets of Valley of Bowser. Till then, guys, I'm Red Panda Gamer, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Please like this video, favorite this video, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, do forget to do your share love. I'm Red Panda Gamer. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.